Well, Mark, if you can guarantee you win a game like that, you'll take that every week, won't you? Two goals in stoppage time to, to beat Yeovil today. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good for the, for the hairline or the, for the health of your heart. Um, but I was really pleased. I thought we, played, thought we played well today in terms of the way we played football. We, we didn't um, produce enough chances in the first hour. You know, we had a lot of good play, but without pulling the trigger or finding that pass. But um, played quite well. I thought we was always in control of the game, and um, obviously a, a, a terrible decision cost us the goal. Amazing decision not to give a free, a free kick. And then we're up against it. We're down to ten men. Uh, one goal down, down to ten men away from home. So the resolve of the players has been tested and they've come through it with flying colours and hopefully that gives them an, an amazing amount of belief for the rest of the season. The first half, a few opportunities. I think Lloyd-Jones cleared one off the line for us. At the other end, Liam Shepard had a, had a shot deflected and nearly went in. Um, what were you saying at half-time to, to maybe make the difference? Just be a little bit more incisive in your play in the final third. We got the ball safely from our goal to, to the edge of their box. Um, but we weren't incisive enough, oh, we were a bit sloppy with our final play in and around the box or we didn't shoot enough or we didn't cross it enough and, um, and that's why we were a bit stale in the final third. Their goal, anyone who sees the replays back tonight on, on Quest will, will see what, what incensed you about it. Um, what did you say to the players when they all came over to the touchline just after that, after having a word with the referee? Use, use the injustice, use that as a fuel to go and get something out of the game. You've been massively, um, you've been massively, I don't know what the word is, um, hard done, against. Hard done by. Hard done by, yeah. by that decision. Now use that as fuel to go and get some out of the game. And there was a lot of angry young men at that point and I just felt they needed calming down. Yeah, we got a bit of stick for it, but they needed calming down to refocus on going to try and get some out of the game. When Digby saw red, did you think it was just going to be one of those afternoons down here? I think you do, but we gambled. We, we still kept two up front. Um, we played two at the back. We played two wingers, as full-backs as wingers, and gambled. And um, But because we had such good control of the ball, we didn't really throw up any chances because they couldn't get the ball off us. Ruben Reid with the first goal to get us back to level. It was a pure poacher's strike, wasn't it? Getting in the right area at the right time to, to finish a great cross by Archibald. Yeah, I asked Ruben um, during the week that I, I asked him to, to be more selfish and to try and get himself in the frame of the goal more and, and not think about the team as much and think about himself a bit. So it's probably, probably my fault a little bit. I've not given him probably enough clear instruction what I need from him. And, um, that's what a number nine does. He stays in the width of the goal and scores goals during the game and, and, and offers a threat to the opposition. So I'm pleased for him. He's been really sharp this week in training. And you must be delighted for George Williams as well, getting himself off the mark um, to, to snatch all three points. Really pleased for George. He's, um, he's found it tough, but there's a really good player in there. He don't play for Wales and be in the squad that goes to the Euros for nothing. And hopefully that gives him all the belief in the world. Um, and it should do. He's a, he's a great kid, and uh, and that should <clears throat> give him the belief he needs. It was lashing down at the final whistle, but great scenes as a as a player as yourself, uh, Scott Lindsay, all went over to to acknowledge the fans who have made it here today. That's what it's all about, you know. To win a game like that is fantastic, and uh, and when you do, you have to make the most of it. Do you think this adds a massive boost now heading into a busy festive period? It for should us? do. I said to the to the boys after there, that should give you all the belief in the world that you need now to to step forward. Perfect, appreciate it.